Hello, this is not a spring chicken. A lot of times you know that we are testing products and seeing how they're testing what they taste like and all of those things. Right now we're testing a new product. It's called Mana Slim, M-A-N-N-A -N -N -A Slim. So this is what I look like now, okay, in flat. Now, the question is, what am I going to look like in 30 days? Because I think, I think this is a 30, it's just 30 single serving packets. I think it's a 30 day program, unless it's less than that. We'll find out. Oh, this contains 15. Maybe it's a two week program. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to find out and you'll see the results. But meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans? Oh, Isn't yeah. that like old news? No, that's that every day it's all over for the oh. Republicans. It is now officially stated the only pro person that can handle the illegal alien problem in our nation is Barack Obama. And they just countered that, of course, with he's not handling the problem. So therefore, where, okay, if the independents don't want them here, Republicans don't want them here, then who are they doing the polling with, folks? Mm -hmm. Because if 66% of the people want the problem fixed and Obama's idea of fixing it is to let more people come and grant them citizenship, that's not what anybody in the nation wants except the people that need their votes. And they're not, here's the funny part about it, who are not going to vote for Obama because they don't believe in gay marriage or gay rights? Oh, is that what it is? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the two most religious groups in the nation are Afro-Americans and Latin Americans, and he's offended both of them, and he can't win with that either. And Obama, Republicans playing chicken on student loans. Well, well, they made an agreement today, which was immediately violated about a after the Republicans made the announcement that an agreement was made, the Democrats come out and said the Republicans agreed to raise taxes on those people that have been unfairly made. The same Repu Democratic garbage as always. The only problem is they happen to have a document showing that the Democrats had agreed to all of the things that the Republicans said. And as soon as they said it, the Democrats basically went back to the old stuff, which, I mean, I, I, I have people on my Facebook side well, the reason why we problem we have an economy is because the Republicans, the the obstructionist of the Republican Party has been so great. Well, no, the president had a supermajority for two and a half years and accomplished nothing. It was his party that didn't want to do anything. Republicans were willing to do deals with him. His idea, you know, it's either I won the election, I make the rules. I, I got to put that one on Facebook for all you people that forgot about the Republicans not cooperating with the president. This is what the President of the United States said right off the bat. I won the election, I make the rules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the mass grave of giant wombats discovered in Australia. This one I don't understand at all. I mean, why would it be a mass grave of w giant wombats? Because they, that was, the only way that would have happened was if they all died off in the cave at one time and that would not be likely to happen. One back to fly away, folks. And Pentagon holds the first ever gay pride event. This is why BS the Bull is out. The Pentagon voluntarily would hold no gay events because it's first of all, as John McCain said this morning, it is a total violation of what the Senate and the House agreed upon and some of the Democrats who are basically trying to win re-election. At no time did we ever agree we agreed that gays could serve in the military with no obstruction. We said there was no gay marriage, there was no gay dating, there was none of this. And now the military under the president's uh, wishes is holding gay pride events. Mm -hmm. No, that basically what happened is as soon as the Republicans take charge, the gay thing is back to the way it was before. It basically Obama has pushed the envelope. And it's not like they can get him elected to the presidency. I mean He's avoiding a stupid, they said, that, okay, Young Hollywood is being abandoned this week because they, the people the people that are giving him the money said that you're, you're, uh, when they said the, uh, two days ago that they think that you can, with your charisma and your abilities, you could be one of the greatest movie stars this world has ever known. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the tip off to the people at the top of the Democratic Party to keep this man out of Hollywood because that is not what people want to hear, that he is so great that all the other actors in the universe pale compared to him.
and Moody's downgrades 15 major global banks. And then the banks all rose after they were downgraded, which is impossible. You, when you get downgraded, it means your stock is worth nothing, folks. And all of a sudden, their stock is worth nothing. And the banks are, are stronger today than they were before the downgrading. You know, downgrading generally means don't buy, don't touch these people. Mm. But Obama has his hands in all those banks, though. And movie and TV show craft services provides offering <laughs> providers offering healthier fare on sets. Not on any set I've ever been on. <laughs> that does not exist, folks. It's like uh, I have some of this tacos. I'll have some of that spaghetti. Uh, you know, whatever they can get their hands on for free, you will eat on a set. They do not it, serve healthy. Food. Actually, I will attest to this. If you ever saw any of my actor friends when there was. A buffet of open food. <laughs> they show up for events with free food and open bars. That's the whole trick. That it, 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 I, I'm an actor, folks. My father was an actor. My oh, grandma, you know what? They look, they look like press people at events. They're like press people. <laughs> See, press people and actors have a lot in common. We're always hungry and we're always willing to eat free food and drink free alcohol and get free cigars, which you may be a band zone where everybody takes their cigars outside and smokes them. Inside immigration ruling won't be end of the road. Well, no, because Obama's planning. Okay, Obama said "f you" to the Supreme Court. I'm just going to enforce my rules, whether they're legal or not. Okay, the, but what happened was the Supreme Court is playing Pontius Pilate again, which means they're not. They're trying to get something to everybody. I wash my hands. You know. Okay. It is legal for local police officers to stop people from, if they're breaking a law, you can stop them and ask for their identification. That's done all the time. But you're not allowed to arrest somebody if he's an illegal alien. And you're not allowed to arrest anybody that gets a job if they're illegal aliens. Of course you can arrest the company that hires them, mm -hmm. but Obama basically then said F you and said we're not going to give any information to the state of Arizona on criminal warrants, arrest warrants now. So. Basically, they're going to be held responsible in Arizona if murderers and rapists and other people are running their states because we were offended by the Supreme Court. Well, unfortunately, they're going back to the Supreme Court and file charges against the Justice Department for not obeying another set of laws. So uh, Obama's legacy is he's going to be in the Supreme Court defending undefendable positions forever. And foods to hams. Crop subsidies among the Senate Farm Bill amendments. I know. Uh, it's also under, it's also been parked over the Transportation Bill. The Republicans were guaranteed in writing that that stuff would be taken out of the Transportation Bill. They put like $45 billion of food stamps and health care benefits under transportation because they couldn't get them passed under the, under the food stamp bill. And parties jockey on health care ahead of U.S. court ruling. Yeah, well, okay. As I understand from this morning's news, the Supreme Court is going to piss off everybody by ruling since nobody has actually been hurt by the law taking place. There is no grounds, there is no justification for anybody to have brought the court case to us. But they all agree. I mean, we're talking, we got unanimous consent for understand that the damn thing's illegal. Mm -hmm. So if they agree it's illegal, why not get rid of it before the election? Why? Because the Democrats know it will hurt Obama if it happens. But it hurts Obama because it gives the Republicans, uh, you know, another few months to pound away on how Obamacare is evil. He wants it gone so that he can run against that evil Supreme Court that won't do what I want them to do. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And students left in mass hypnosis. <laughs> oh, mass hypnosis. They give mass hypnosis after demonstration goes awry. Somebody forgot. What? Okay, what happens is that sounds like Men in Black. They uh, they <laughs> hypnotize the people and then forgot to re they totally <gasps> forgot to uh, snap them out of it. I, oh no! I, I saw that happen once oh, when when I was at USC, and they basically the guy said, "Now all of the girls in the classroom will take off their clothes." And then they said, oh, no, that was just, that yeah, was just Jossie. And then he didn't bring the girls out of it. Oh, And then when no. somebody, somebody outside, and I like that, somebody outside said, you know, it, it was a funny thing, it almost went too far. He said, all the girls in the classroom will now take off all their clothes. And the girls started taking their clothes off out in the, out in the grounds. So. Oh, no. Because he didn't take, he didn't. 
take him out of it. Take him out of it. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Yeah, um, sometimes doing things exactly as they're supposed to be done is the right way to do it. <laughs>